I mean, Camille, not the best teleporter or team fighter, but the ultimate utility is always going to be there. There's no way that a Callista can hop on out of that domain when she presses her ultimate. Is he just going to do the cheese gank level two He's a top? Sejuani that is about to level two cheese gank top lane. Impact level one. This is working. All right, here we go. Impact doesn't have his jump away, remember? Impact oh. flash into the hook shot. They may just be able to find this kill. Adi with the flash. Impact goes down. First blood for Lion. And to knock yourself out of worlds. The ward has spotted them, but Smoothie may still get Genthix here. Here we go, Genthix is going to be the one who's initially targeted on this one. More CC coming out as the damage also follows up, and now Sneaky going to be jumped Body up by in. Adi, who shows up for the 3v3. Contract still staying on the front line. Smoothie going to be looking for more now as well. Ignite down onto Genthix. There comes your body slam. Tying the game up one to one. Okay. This advantage, you're going to continue to see Jensen build those. Enemies. And look what happens. He has to go back to base, has no mana for himself. And suddenly the Rift Herald spawns in the middle lane, and that's just going to be an outer turret secured. You're all an impact, getting into that 1v1. Impact jumping forward almost onto the Mega Nar, lands another boomerang, continuing to apply the slows, but Audi is here, and now Impact may have found himself in not an ideal situation. Going to be stunned up underneath the turret and outplayed. Impact goes down. Oh, but here comes the reinforcements. Contract comes in, makes sure he cleans up the kill that Impact started, and now they are going to take Audi out as well, two for one going the way of Cloud9. Game changers need to actually start changing the game. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they're about to. That's one way to put it. Smoothie able to find the hook onto Seiya, but now he's found himself in the middle of multiple members as now the counterattack from Cloud9 is live. The cap going to five. Sneaky grabbing the kill onto Adi. Manages to save Smoothie as well. Gentix not going to be the target as Impact finds his way onto Jeral yet again. Jensen grabbing the kill on that one, and it's three for zero, Cloud9. Not even talking about blue buffs anymore. All right, he does find himself jumped on by the Sejuani now, but that's a very aggressive jump out by White Lotus. Impact going to be flashing himself away, and here they go, trying to find the pick onto the Cloud9 top laner. The Lantern is down, will pull him to safety and just barely keep him alive. He's going to survive. Unfortunately for Cloud9, he is the lack of teleport top laner at the moment, uh, but they're still going to push in. He's close to Mega. I guess they've got a lot of trust in the shields that can keep him up, but they've also got the inside track. They thought that Lion... We're going to come and react, and they didn't. They just barrel down the bottom lane. They find the tier 3 turret, but now the fight's going to be breaking out. Impact with the stun down onto Genthix. Jumps in, slam into the wall onto White Lotus. The Hextech ultimatum is issued, but immediately canceled as Sneaky finds the Rampage and the double kill. And Cloud9, in quick fashion, find their victory in game one. And it's just going to be these front-to-back five versus five battles. In a roundabout way, there were similar compositions in game one. Into the River Brush. Now Contract makes his way onto Jeral, seeing if they're able to find the burst here. The stun, where's the feast? Jeral wanting to get himself away, pops off the nature's grasp. The Sejuani ulti comes through. Impact wants to get a big old bite out of him, but can't quite do oh it. God. First blood goes to Jeral. Cloud9 with the mistake. In the case, of course, while stretching your own lead at the same time as they're going on Jensen. Jensen again going to be found out. White Lotus cashing in for the second time onto the Cloud9 mid laner. I don't know if they can make this play, but it feels like they really want it. All right, they're going to start things off. Sejuani ulti down onto Adi, and Jensen finds himself the kill. Cloud9 finally on the board, and they take the tier one turret down along with it. He wants to kill those carries. He wants to get in. And here we go. Here we go. Fight going to be breaking out. Onto the front line goes Contracts. Throws down the ulti. Not finding anybody with the stun. Immediately Smoothie getting himself rooted up by the ulti from the forest. As now Jeral makes his way into the thick of things. Going to be wild growth, but immediately flashes his way out of it. Sneaky. Sneaky's now finding the opportunity to fire onto some isolated targets. Shockwave not going to be coming up big this time. You talked about Baron, how that's always going to be a factor. And this right now, bush is the literally where the game's being decided, it feels like. Impact going to be the target here by Lion. Contracts throwing out the ulti onto White Lotus. Trying to disengage things here. Nature's grasp fire off, finds its way only onto Contract. Impact is isolated by is himself. Going. Impact trying to get himself away from this one. Adi now going to be feasted upon. Impact, though, taken low and taken down. White Lotus found himself the killing spree as now Sneaky has to disengage. Cloud9, they are teleporting in for this. Lion are going to match it. What a barren call by Cloud9. This is the kind of really, really interesting play that can make or break the game. Now Baron's going to be below half HP. Jeral on the front line. Contract's going to be tanking. Jensen needs to back away. Contract needs to back away. He cannot get out in time. They're going to go back and to the Lion Baron. And has found the Baron leashed for them by their opponents. Cloud9, now they're the ones who have to stop this. 
Very salty misses. Chains of Corruption not finding the mark means a lot of CC not available on the side of Jerome's Lion. still doing the Baron buff as well. This is just the biggest bait of all time. They have to back away. Nobody has anything up and available. All right, here we go again, Rusty. The fact that we got people hanging around this brush bush. means that we're going to have a fight. We'll just have to see who ends up going in first. Contracts take some poke there, and now it's Jeral who gets caught out. Nature's Grasp comes flying through, finds its way onto a couple of different targets. Jensen with no flash. Remember, he used it in the last fight. Jeral going to be the first one down. Shockwave onto Jensen. If they can take him down, that is going to be huge. But White Lotus now going to be silenced. Knocked up into the air. The damage coming through. The stun lands. But Adi is running interference. Say it, grabbing the kill onto Impact. It's a double kill for Contract. Now looking potentially at this Elder Drake. Remember, Super Minions are They're already looking the at top it. part of the base. Say the target of contracts. Ulti not really finding a lot there. Now Contracts, the one who's taking a lot of damage. Ulti also coming out from It's Durant. all zoning. They want to get the Elder. They're still trying to get it. Redemption comes down. Cloud9 still maybe looking to take the fight, but it's Adi who's in the lock three into the pit as now he's soaking the damage. Impact here on the front line, taking a big fight out of the Jarvan. Finds the kill now as White Lotus gets himself stunned up. More damage coming through. Jensen not quite able to find the kill on that one. His contracts goes for Saya. Not quite able to do it. The heal from the Janna will not be there. White Lotus still Whoa, trying to take that. Elder Drake as Jarral is going to be taken down closely next. Nearly falls. He's alive. Find his way with the twist in advance as Sneaky gets the Elder. Genthix looking to take the Blast Cone to get himself away to safety. And Cloud9 have to go defend their base. They have no choice. Lion should get a free Baron for this. You're looking at contracts perhaps for the steal. If all of Cloud9 hang around, then they run the risk of losing inhibitors. They're all here except for Impact. He has the teleport. Oh, this fight's gonna turn real sketchy real quick. They Barrel down the corner. Cloud9 now finding themselves here in the pit. Impact and Contracts both hanging around. Jensen over the wall as well. Impact grabbing the secure onto the Baron with the Chogat Feast. But now where does the fight go from here? Sneaky's gotta be careful. He can't afford to walk into a shockwave. Contracts on the front line. Gargoyle stone plate to keep himself alive a little bit longer. Jensen down below half HP. Impact, in Impact big trouble. is still stuck in the pit. He secured the Baron for his team, but he's going to be the sacrificial lamb as the minions pour into the Cloud9 base. They take down the bottom lane inhibitor. The teleport into the top lane. It's two inhibs down for Cloud9. And a big flank from Jeral. Jeral shows up. He's got very little mana here on the front line. He might be able to lock down Sneaky the Shockwave. Not going to be finding anyone just yet. Sneaky's going to have to find an immaculate amount of damage in this fight. Lion looking to push up into the Cloud9 base. Genthix gets himself taken out by Jensen. But Impact is looking. Impact is going to walk his way down. Sneaky's also rotated. Cloud9, they don't want the other oh, to go. No. Contracts is way too close. He's going to be singled out and bursted down before he can do much of anything. The shield going to be keeping him alive. Still alive. Adi now here in the pit trying to defend me, the front line of Team Lion. But Sneaky's able to find free firing time. Jerome now going to be the tank. Nobody dead so far. Cloud9 still looking to make this fight happen. The root out on Jerome White Low. They got him. Goes down to Jensen's burst. And Jensen comes up with a hero play. Cloud9 still with no health to their names. No Warmogs on the Choker. He has teleport. He might want to recall. The waves of health still inhibs are up. Hanging around. Side lane inhibitors back up for Cloud9. Adi over the wall. May look to go in. Steal this with the Blast Cone. Comes over the a wall. Reset. The Drake may reset here. It does slightly. Adi has to go back with the flag and drag. Cloud9 pulling the Drake out yet again to make sure they secure it, and they do. There's a large minion wave bottom side for Lion as well. Lion likely recognizing this. That's why they're making this fight happen now. Jensen losing three quarters of his HP to the combo from Seiya. However, that means the shock wave cannot be used in the upcoming fight. Positioning now, much less of a concern for Cloud9. They don't have to worry about walking into those. Audi flag and drag over the wall to keep himself safe. Cloud9, they realize there's that many minions in their bottom lane. They're pinging it right now. They're saying, look, it's time to do so or die. To deal with we this. say do, Cloud9 starting up the Baron. Got it down to about half HP. Nature's Grasp comes out from the Maokai, trying to lock these guys down. Contracts coming in. The QSS Finds was the back. Ulti, but the QSS was back up. White Lotus going to be kept alive for now. Tanks on the front line doing exactly what their namesake says. Jerome and Adi trying to stay alive, but the first kill goes to Sneaky. Sneaky's damage is incredible, though. Looks like Cloud9 with the reset of Smoothie's ultimate. They're not respecting the base. It is starting to die. One inhibitor's gone, but they're back on the Baron. Look at Adi. 
Cloud9 trying to take this Baron. Their base is being taken apart, though. They've got to make sure they finish this off cleanly. Baron down to about 3k HP. Adi comes into the pit, but it's secured by contracts. Adi likely going to drop here as a result of jumping there into the pit. Now Sneaky on the killing spree. They're fighting the kills onto Lotus and Genthix as well. It's one man versus the world. Cloud9 has one minion there. Saya trying to flash, clear these minions out of the way, but it will not be enough. 61 minutes into the game, and Cloud9 finds the win. Adi needs to keep that up if his team wants to be competitive here in the third and potentially final game. And right now, with how they've been laning, the fact that we're at 15 minutes in the game and it's three zeros, it's going oh, pretty well. Dear Lord, Jensen almost finding the solo kill onto Seiya, but now he's the one who's going to be caught out. Stand United onto him from Impact. Accelerated Shock Blast may come through, not finding its way onto Jensen just yet. The turnaround onto the enemy jungler. Smoothie is here as well to keep these guys safe. Popping the heel and first blood over to Cloud9's mid laner. There's and they're still looking. You can see Contract stalking. Fires off the ulti, finds his way on that oh Gen Thick, who is just deleted as the rest of Cloud9 all together as one five-man unit takes down the tier one turret in the mid lane, completes that outer ring. And it's the fact that they have control of the jungle, because they've got Jensen. Seiya now gonna be having oh, this they? turn right around on him. Contract swooping in there with the ulti to make sure they seal the deal. White Lotus coming in, trying to find the damage onto Jensen, manages to get it out, plays the taunt with the flash. Now looking to turn right back around with the auto attacks, but it's Lion in retreat. Contract showing up mid lane. Might want to go on to White Lotus here. Nice sidestep by White Lotus yet again. Got the juke boots laced up today and disengages any further damage coming in from But here's Snakey with a big flank. There you go. Ulti going to be used here soon. Silence, knock up, juggle around, slams back and forth into his own support. White Lotus taken out by Jensen, but Sneaky falls to Lotus as well. One for one so far. AD carry is going to be traded back and forth. Oh, and smoothie. Away. Lion has found an advantage in this fight, but Smoothie with a nice reset. I don't think that's actually going to be stopped at all. Jarrell has Flash. He has his ultimate. Zack also exists. Bash He's Brothers. To go for the Flash Feast. You never know. Impact the Lone Man standing there with the Baron. Tanks it up for a very, very long time. Adi comes in. They're trying to steal this one away, but they can't do it. Contracts gets the secure. They get kills. Soon on to both members that jumped in. Lion tries a desperation play to get themselves back into the game, but ultimately, it's just not enough. Vai cair na torre do inibidor. O Shogar agora foi pego no ultimate do Contrax. O inibidor já está exposto. O Odd cancelou seu salto. Com isso, ele não vai entrar na luta. Fica também nessa linha de frente aqui, quase sneak. Parar o Odd. O Odd não tem a passiva. Eliminado. Vai cair o T-Roll na sequência. A Cloud9 vai pra vitória. Vai pra vaga na fase de grupos. Impact garante mais uma eliminação. White Lotus cai também. Double kill nas mãos do Sneak. Triple kill Sneak. AC Cloud9. They will find their 3-0 victory and punch their ticket to the main group event at Worlds 2017.